Moment of truth, does it fit? We're Jared and Meredith. Our love for travel and hiking led us to turn our small SUV into a mini home on wheels so we could explore the natural wonders of the U.S. After a few weeks on the road, we were hooked and returned home to convert a 1973 Airstream ambassador named Pauline into a tiny home so we could have more freedom and flexibility in our travels and in our life. You'll remember last time that Jared had completed the face frame for all of the cabinets. He then moved on to creating the boxes for the cabinets, which produced these very satisfying videos of the router in action. Once the boxes were assembled, he had to shave the back to fit the curve of the Airstream wall. Oh, also he installed all of the outlets. So we have all of the boxes and the face frames assembled for the cabinets. We are working on putting together the closet today. Um, as you might be able to tell from the ominous lighting, it is still raining. Um, those of you who are in Texas know our pain. It's been raining for like two or three weeks and it's supposed to rain for like another week and a half. Um, you can't really see it because we've got stuff piled on top of it, but this is the beginning of the frame out for the shower right here. And I think that just about covers where we are. So if you are doing any sort of Airstream renovation, you need one of these tools. Do you remember what it's called, Jared? Scribe or? No, I don't remember what this one is called. We'll, anyway, we'll look it up. You loosen these little knobs and that allows you to fit the black part into a curve and then you can tighten them to kind of save that curve and then you can take that and draw the curve onto whatever surface you're trying to fit into it so we've been doing that to fit the backs of the uh, cabinet walls more flush against the airstream wall because everything in an airstream is curved Does it fit? Oh, that's pretty good, babe. Now we're putting in stretchers to make sure that the cabinet is the same width all the way down. Um, we're just putting those in with pocket screws. I don't know if you can tell, but the stretchers in the back are covering up the place where the wall panels meet. That's also the place where there is a metal rib behind it in the shell of the Airstream. So when the wooden structure is completed, we can then run screws straight, straight through these stretchers and into the metal stud that's behind the wall panel, so it will also secure it to the actual structure of the Airstream. We forgot to film it, but we did also put the face frame on the front of the closet. You can kind of see it over there on the left. Then Jared went back to framing out the shower. I'm working on attaching the studs to the floor and making sure that the spacing is correct so that we'll be able to fit in the shower niche, the piping, and the shower head, and ultimately that the walls will be vertical and not leaning over. You'll notice the shims under the frame. Like any floor, RV or otherwise, it's not perfectly level, so we have to adjust to make sure the shower will drain properly. With the framing of the shower in place, we decided to go ahead and unbox our nature's head toilet. This is a composting toilet, so it doesn't need to be hooked up to any of the plumbing or the tanks. We just unwrap it, put in the composting material, and it is good to go. We have rooms, multiple rooms. So this is the hallway. 
away from the kitchen and it goes into the bedroom. And then Jared's standing in the bathroom. Right here's our shower. Uh, this will be where the shower head is, right here. If we leave it like this, it's more like a jail cell. Anyway, and then we've got the toilet roughly in place where it's going to go. And you can imagine that this is going to be a wall. And another wall. And then that's the back wall of the bathroom. And then from there, it's pantry, laundry closet, and refrigerator. And that's it. That's all that we have left to build. You know, except for the vanity and the cabinet doors and the drawer that goes under the bed. 